So I've been working on pressing out a particularly stubborn number two bushing out of the lower control arm, which is in the frame. Number two for the lower control arm. Here's one, the new one. And the first issue I had is none of the press kits I could find would had the right size to fit in to be my press to push the bushing through this size. And uh, so I took a socket and took a machine shop and had to mill it down. I'll show that to you later. I tried a the uh, three quarter inch threaded rod, 12 inches long, because that's the largest standard size I could fit through the bushing. And I just broke that. It just stretched the bolt and broke it. Um, I put a lot of leverage on it, so I pressed out the center and uh, actually used a hole saw, went in and cut some of that rubber out and I bottomed out so I put a pull on, through here, a bolt on here and was pulling that through and then so I just keep pulling I ripped it out of there. I don't know if, I'm sure the hole saw helped me. But I might be able to rip these out without even using a hole saw. Can't say that it looks like it was all that bad of shape though. Probably a waste of placing them, but it's a quarter million miles. We're putting a new lower control arm, so I'll take it the rest of its life. But this rig has been problematic in bolts being corroded and a lot of mud. And this bushing is in there good. So I went out and got myself a three-quarter inch number eight bolt, uh, nine and a half inches long. It's got about two and a half inches of thread. I've got my socket tool on there. I've got a cup for a receiver from a press kit plus an extension. And I had to put about four washers on here uh, to make sure I didn't bottom out of my thread. Fortunately, it's a uh, I think like a one and an eighth inch size and I don't have any good wrenches for it except for one socket which I have to turn from this side I'd rather be turning from the other side and pushing down but I'm bearing down on it now it's oh jeez and something just broke I think I got her Uh, I don't know, it's still pretty hard. Something definitely popped there. Don't know what. Let's keep turning. Oh, I think I got it. I think it's going in. All right. That's what I needed is a good three-quarter bolt. I had that 5 8 threaded rod in there, which is like a number two steel. This is a grade eight. It's got to be rigid. You can't have any flex. And of course, this three-quarter breaker, it doesn't flex at all. Uh, it's gonna fight me the whole way. I'm gonna get my impact wrench on there. Maybe get that out of the way. Oh, it's. Give her a try. Let me speed this up a little bit. Uh 
I could have taken a hacksaw and sliced it. Once I had that centerpiece out, I could have slices, you know, on the inside of this. Maybe two of them and curled it over. But I was trying to come up with a solution that I could use over and over again without getting out the hacksaw, something that's a little faster. And the SST tool from Toyota, I heard it was no longer available. I don't know anybody that has one. But I'm looking into that now, but I went ahead and just had this one built. I think I may see if the other guys want one. Maybe I'll have more of these built. Maybe we could do a receiver cup too. It's a little longer and get this whole set up just right. I'd have to go out and run a press kit. all the way. I mean it's getting a little easier but this a little smaller um, so I shouldn't have any problem with that getting stuck although I've got a large washer on here I wanted that extra s strength to transfer the energy through there I couldn't find a smaller washer um, so I may have to take that off before I get through we'll see that's See, it might loosen up as we get right to the end because this is actually gets larger right there. I don't know if you could see it. This is about 47 millimeters and this is about 48 diameter. Right about where the rubber runs in the inside, it expands out. So it's designed to come in and tighten up or either that or the other end is tapered in the frame, which I wouldn't think it would be. I think I might be able to put my ratchet on there now. Speed it up a little bit. Maybe a little bit. There we go. And this guy, I'm telling you, was frozen in there. I've been hitting it with my air hammer also, and this end of vibrating. And and I put a lot of pressure on it before I broke that guy. So it's been uh, getting pulled on quite a bit. But you got to have a setup that has no flex whatsoever. You that bolt stretching, that threaded rod stretching, I just lose lose out, you know, lose to the bolt. I need to get me a one and an eighth inch right there. I hit the end of my threads there. Thought I might, so I have another washer. I kind of figured I'm getting which which one ended actually, I'm not sure. I have to take it back off now either way. Let's make it easy or fast. If I did bottom out. I knew it was going to be close. Good. 
begin to stack. So there's my tool. It was, uh, I think it was a one and three eight socket. It had several of them, but this one had the right shapes for me. This was a US made, fairly good quality, so good hard steel. I thought it was something like, I forget what scale to use, 40 to 45. Um, and you see we, I had him cut that inner part. Find the other, my new one. So as it went in, it would be a guide. And then uh, it's a little tapered. It hits the rubber in there. And then we start catching with that lip right there. And that, there's a little bit of a bevel or a turn in right there on the bushing. So it catches that. We hit it just about the perfect size there, which is a little smaller than this skinnier part, or smaller than that. So it's pretty rusty looking in there. So now I, I'm sure I, yep, that's what I thought. Yeah, see, <laughs> pretty frozen in there. Let me see. Get some light on that. You can't see that. See, it was frozen good. It's been the story of working on this rig all along. I didn't really want to heat it. it got rubber in there. It's, I don't have very good ventilation. It's winter time. 25 degrees outside. Heating, of course, would have helped. Let's get that light back on. So, you can see how the tool fit right in there so it's a little tapered too so if the edge is damaged from rust or what have you you can see some marks and I don't know if you can see it but that's from when I tried a different socket that just kind of folded into it this one caught it just right just enough so that it get a good hold on it yeah I'm very happy with my tool I did a good job I had it ready for me in like an hour I was happy Happy to get it out. Now I got to get it in. I'm definitely going to clean that out first. I got a two inch brush that'll so work pretty good on that. I think pressing in is going to be another video.